Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the Sunday service. Um, man, it's been one crazy week. I really enjoyed Easter. I love getting to uh, hand those uh, treats out to you guys. And man, oh man, you guys have been blowing us away with you know everything you guys have been doing with the challenges. We've been enjoying everything, especially those like uh, chalk creations some of you guys have been doing. It's been it's really that. blessing us. And uh, well, it's also a blessing just knowing that you guys are doing them. And, um, you know, it, it really warms our heart that, you know, you guys maybe see what you guys have done and then you send it along. But we see everybody that's been participating in this week in particular. Uh, it just feels like everybody is on board and everybody is just killing it. So I just want to thank you. Lori and I want to just thank you, your parents, everybody that's been involved, you know, with uh, the views and the challenges and everything, you know, that seems to be going well with the channel. Um, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for blessing us with that. Um, and so I want to start with something kind of fun. I, I feel like everything's still kind of going on. You know, we're sick of this coronavirus stuff. We're sick of the, you know, I don't know, everything that's been kind of going on, and I kind of had it in my mind that I wanted to do something a little bit fun, but it's also going to kind of challenge you at the end, and you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. So, probably since I was in middle school, I've been a huge comic book nerd. Uh, even before the times of, you know, the Marvel movies, before Iron Man, before the Avengers, before Endgame, uh, I was just reading comics in class. I know you're not supposed to do that, but that's exactly what... I did, a classmate of mine brought in um, comics, and most of the time, and every once in a while we would just sit there and read them, and one of my favorites um, was actually Spider-Man. Um, the thing about Spider-Man is, is, he's kind of like, he's kind of like everything that we were dealing with at that time, and then he was also a superhero, let me kind of you know, expand upon that a little bit, is that what makes Spider-Man great is that he's just like us. You know, he had homework, he had to uh, help take care of his aunt, he had uh, girlfriend problems, he had, um, you know, just the same issues that we have, and the comics would do a very good job of showing that, is showing that how human he was, how, you know, what he was dealing with at home sometimes also affected him with, during the time that he was being a superhero. During the time where he had to kind of put everything else away and be great, he still had sometimes the thoughts in the back of his mind of, you know, I got relationship problems, I need to, you know, help my aunt. Uh, I got homework when I got, you know, when I got to get home. And then on top of that, he would put all that stuff, all he tried to put all that stuff away and try to selflessly protect and fight for what's right. And that's something that really just, like, hits me. And you don't see a lot in, in superheroes. You see maybe a few other things. But Spider-Man was just so grounded at the time. And I, I, I just loved it. And as I've been growing older, I even see, um, you know, other things. I, I definitely love, you know, what the movies are doing. But... One thing that is really missing from the movies nowadays that uh, the old 2000 movies, um, the Spider-Man movies, the really old ones from, uh, I think, the early 2000s, those ones hit on something that I kind of want to talk about today. And I don't really know how else to say it, but just to give you the quote. There's a quote in the Spider-Man comics and from those old movies that I think... We as Christians need to live by as well. I think it's something that is not only important, but kind of a calling for all of us. And a lot of us forget. A lot of us forget that when you accept Jesus into your life, it's not just a prayer that you say. It's not just a, some goosebumps that you get on a Sunday or maybe a time you go to Central Youth Conference or no matter what happened, you know, when you're a Christian, you now have a call to action. Now you have a new life to live. You've been reborn through Christ to do th greater things. 
And so I got two Bible verses if you want to start with us. Um, we're going to be starting off in Romans 8, one of my favorites, and then we're going to uh, go on from there. But the quote that I want to bring up today is, with great power comes great responsibility. And so to kind of help set us up, Laurie, can you read um, Romans 8? We're going to start in uh, verse 11, I think. Okay, Romans 8, 11 um, says, And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. Hope you caught that, is that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is now living inside you. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you now have that same spirit dwelling inside of you. And what makes that so what makes that so important is that a lot of us don't use it. A lot of us kind of sit back and you know we're just you know we're just trying to live our lives. We're trying to get through this virus, we're trying to get through school, but that same power that is raising Jesus Christ, who was dead for three days, raised him back to life, is dwelling inside of us, and a lot of us, myself included, often forget that. And that's all this is, is just a remembrance, just to remember that we have something great, and we have a great power inside of us. And with that same power comes a responsibility. All of us as Christians have a responsibility to live a greater life, to live by a greater expectation, to make disciples, to go out into our community and make it better, to, to get people saved and to create, you know, the, the more people that are going to, you know, Continue doing this. That is our responsibility. And a lot of us have been taking it lightly. And I, I always say us because that's me included. You know, a lot of times we're just trying to figure out, you know, maybe what we're going to do for next week, what's for dinner, and we forget that great power. But with that great power, we can do great things. We can go out into our community and love on people in a way that is so unique to them. And I think that that's what we need to be doing in this time right now. I, uh, I love the quote that I've seen on Facebook is that the church doors aren't, you know, locked. The church has just been deployed. Yeah, we can't show up to the building the church, but the church is people.